All right, so most of those folks took it in stride, but it all begs the question, is it fair for the Lions to capitalize on a good season before it's even over, or is that simply the cost of winning? I know a guy I'd like to ask about this. Here he is, Jeff Lesson from WWJ News Radio 950 and 97.1 The Ticket. How you doing, Jeff? Great, Shana. Good to see you. Good to see you. So where do you stand on this? Is it just a slap in the face for the fans that have supported this team through thick and thin, or is that simply supply and demand? Well, Shana, I can see both sides of it. You know, on one side, it's a PR disaster for the Detroit Lions. Think about it. The week before Christmas, some season ticket holders are seeing a 150% increase in their ticket prices for next year. Of course, the other side of it is, hey, you get what you pay for, supply demand. Lines all of a sudden were oversubscribed for season tickets and they went out to substantiate a price increase. But China, before this year, actually 2023, the line season tickets, the tickets as a whole were priced 31st out of 32nd in the league. So that's how expensive they were. In other words, almost the least expensive. Of course, you can argue as terrible as this team has been for so many decades, they deserve to be there. And they were priced accordingly. But now, Shana, that they are, you know, better than an average team, they're still only going to be 18th in the league in expensive tickets next year, which is still below average because, you know, there's 32 teams. And so you can say you can see where the lines are going with this. It's fair, right? Well, uh, some people would say yes, but be that as it may, do you think the whole thing, the whole league has gotten out of control? This is America's favorite sport. Do you think it's right that it's increasingly out of reach for your average person to attend a game in person? And that's the shame. And that's kind of always been the case. I mean, uh, for so many big playoff games at the end of the year, average Joe and Joanne fan gets priced out of it. But on the other side, when these players' salaries keep going up and up and up with no end in sight, you know, they got to pay for the, the, the contract somehow. They can do it somewhat with television money. But, hey, the Lions are telling me by making this move now, you know, timing before Christmas, the week before, maybe not the best. They haven't always sure. been the best in terms of OPR decisions in the past, but you know, they can get their price now and it tells me they're not sure because there's no guarantee they're going to have another really good year next year. So they better get their getting while the getting's good. Right. So let's say they keep on winning. Do you think those prices will just keep on going up? Well, uh, only the Ford family would know, but I would speculate. Yes. I mean, look, this is the first good season they've had in how long? I mean, we need to go there how long it's been. Line season ticket holders know how long it's been. And, and they say, well, we've been loyal all these years. But you've been loyal, yes, and they're thankful. But you were paying the second lowest ticket prices in the league. Now you're going to have to pay close to average because the team is now better than average. Just kind of the way it goes. But should they do it all at once? 150% increase to some season ticket holders? Or maybe, Shane, it would have been a better idea maybe to wait till after the holidays mm -hmm. and maybe do half of that increase this year, half next year. I don't know. Just saying that might have been a little more palatable, right? <laughs> yeah. Maybe they're looking for a, a new PR guy. I don't know. Uh, let's talk about the Vikings. Christmas Eve. Maybe some people will feel a little bit better about this. Do you think they're going to clinch the division? Uh, I do. Uh, Lions are favored in this one by three. And, you know, if the Vikings still had Kirk Cousins at quarterback, I mean, then you might have a different story. The Vikings quarterback situation is a disaster. Uh, Jared Goff is better than anyone they can throw off out there, almost on his worst day. I expect him to clinch it this weekend. And the only way they don't win the division, if they somehow lose all three of their games, two of them to Minnesota, and Minnesota wins all three. So the likelihood of that happening is probably less than 1%. But, yeah, these are the lines. So Yay. there's that. Things are looking pretty good, though. We'll keep those fingers crossed. Jeff Lesson, WWJ News Radio 950 and 97.1 The Ticket. Always good to talk to you, Jeff. You too, Shane.